All right. Hey, guys. Hope you're doing well. I like this is a full house today. Um, all right, so I'm Ali. I'm the founder and CEO of Magpie. And today, I'm here to talk about the importance of cross-chain infrastructure in DeFi adoption. Let's look at the state of ETH right now. Um, Ethereum has established itself as the global settlement and security layer. All of the builders working in the space, all of the innovation that's happening has essentially put the ETH killer narrative to rest. Instead, the focus has been, how do we scale Ethereum? How do we lower the costs? How do we um, increase the, the transaction speed? And uh, all of that we're doing to onboard the next billion users. I think that's become much of a slogan for most protocols, that how do you onboard the next billion users to DeFi and, and to crypto? I read an interesting, interesting article about a senior, from a senior researcher at the Ethereum Foundation by the name of Danny Ryan. Um, he said something to the effect that L2s will inevitably become the face of Ethereum. L2s or layer 2s will how most of the users, a vast majority of users, will interface with Ethereum. They will operate within different layer 2s, bridge across, and use applications that are specific to specific uh, uh, chains. So layer 2 scaling improves uh, 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 transaction speed, lowers costs, and uh, allows for app chains, specific chains for specific applications. However, um, there are limitations to the proliferation of L2s. A lot of L2s has resulted largely in fragmentation fragmentation of liquidity, fragmentation of data, and that in turn creates a poor user experience for well users and for builders as well. Fortunately for us, there are a lot of smart people working in the space. They've been working since uh, the early days of Ethereum, building the key infrastructure, building key DeFi primitives in order to drive um, new user adoption. What we've seen historically is that as you have new infrastructure being built out, new DeFi primitives being launched, a new wave of users and builders is onboarded um, within, within DeFi or within the blockchain space in general. Um, this uh, slide visualizes that to a certain extent. Obviously, we cannot list out all of the protocols, all of the infrastructure that have been built, but some of the key infrastructure providers like Etherscan, uh, the graph protocol, when they uh, made their services live. It allowed for builders, it allowed for users to query on-chain blockchain information, which previously was very difficult. DeFi primitives like lending protocols, um, uh, AMMs, DEXs, all of these have helped build a new wave of innovation where builders are able to build on top of those and users have something more to do other than, well, trade and buy crypto or ETH. Further, we see layer twos like Optimism, Arbitrum, Polygon that have certainly led the way in driving further adoption, be it NFTs, GameFi protocols, and finally we have cross-chain infrastructure, bridges, interoperability protocols, cross-chain liquidity aggregator, the likes of LiFi, Socket, and well, well, Magpie. So a new, new primitives, new tech drives new users um, um, consistently. So we at Magpie, two are working on cross-chain infrastructure. We, we provide a cross-chain liquidity aggregator that allows users to move any asset to any asset across all of the chains that we support. Um, we further allow for people to uh, access blockchain data, analytical information across different chains, and we're essentially dedicated to this mission to build key infrastructure that drives the next wave of adoption and innovation within the space. That's pretty much it for me. Um, we're, we're pretty bullish and we're pretty um, excited about the area that we're working in. We obviously certainly have a bias, but curious to hear from you guys what you think the next catalyst will be. Will it be a, a super app that drives innovation? Is it um, a bunch of different applications, GameFi projects, app chain specific, well, chains and applications? So curious to hear from you guys. Uh, that's it for me. Um, thank you.